Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to your Daily Dose. Today is our last day in Wisconsin. Casey's going to try my dad's famous French toast. We're going to be going down to Milwaukee, surprising my grandparents with a visit. Casey's never met my grandparents. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Traveling back to Florida, we land at like, like, I don't know, midnight. So it's a long day at that. But we're going to have tons of eats, tons of fun. And looks like we already got the bacon already ready to get cooked. What are you wearing, sir? I'm wearing my favorite t-shirt. It's Bob Ross. Everybody knows who Bob Ross is. Yes, we do. He's my hero. He is an American hero. Like Rocco. There's Casey over there. There's mom over there. And here's Wisconsin over here. Definitely gonna miss it not being humid out and it just feeling absolutely beautiful. But you know what? Disney's calling us, Florida's calling us. It's time to go back. Just a nice little weekend here and you know, got a lot of things, fun things in store. Not sure if you guys saw, we got all of the annual pass holder magnets. And I, I don't think I announced this, but Alexa's coming down sometime this month for obviously food and wine. So we'll be able to add to the list of annual pass holder magnets. As far as my dad's famous French toast goes, it is another secret recipe. I don't know what this video would have to do to even release that recipe. Would you, even, would you ever release it? Would you release the secret recipe? Oh, I don't know. I think if we get a lot of subscribers, maybe we could. So, a million? Yes. We could open up our own shop and make it. I mean, our own shop. We could call it Casey's House. Yes. Because it'd be Casey's Beans Recipes. Yes. We All the stuff that we make on the channel. We, we can clone her, yes. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be wonderful. Nice. Yeah. Let's get to cooking. Boom. Boom. Oh, boy. Look at that grease. Yeah, I looked at it. Look at that grease. Oh, yeah. There's the secret sauce, everybody. Only if we get a million, we'll release it. Here's Let It Go by Medina Menzel on Amazon Music. Yeah, what are you trying to do? Oh, you want to you wanna play Let It Go? Let It Go. Oh, looking toasty! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is mumbo number five. Dun 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 dun. Mumbo number five. Gray? Already, I'm just looking forward to this. Gotta have powdered sugar on it. Casey doesn't know this, but if she doesn't like it, well, I think it's gone. I think she's just gonna have to get her own plane to get home. I don't. I'm not even worried. I'm definitely gonna like it. All right, here we go. May the odds be in uh, your favor. Bum 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 bum. Oh. Oh. I'm not kidding when I say this is the best French toast I've ever had. Oh. Woo! Wow. I'm really not kidding. Put a ring on her finger. <laughs> no wonder he likes me. I give him food and bones. Off to Milwaukee we go. We're going to go to Cops. If you guys don't go to Cops, what are you doing with your life? These are the best burgers in town. <laughs> Casey, now you got to see where I, I grew up. I'm actually really sad to leave. Um, I had so much fun. It's so quiet here too. It is. I'm not looking forward to the the noise of Orlando oh, and the traffic. And the traffic, oh. not here. Before we leave Sogford though, we gotta get Casey a little souvenir. We gotta stop at Casey's. You know, we gotta get something that has her name on it. Maybe like a bag of chips. I don't know. They have a lot of things with Casey on here. Worms. Maybe we can get some, like something a little snack for the plane. Let's check it out. Yeah. Got a lot of choices, Casey. A lot of choices. A tough one. We gotta get pretzels. Look at these. What about, you can pick, you can pick. I would like some of these. Is that all you want? Just one thing? Um, it's not every day a gas station has your name on it. And merchandise. You can even get a lemon pie with my name on it. I love this place. 
Smile. Casey's. So what funny. a great place to be. We're doing a Wisconsin tour today in Grafton, Wisconsin. Shout out to everybody in Grafton, you guys rock. But we're at Costco before we go visit the grandparents and everything. The infamous Costco. The very infamous Costco. Last time, well, one of the times Casey and I went to Costco, we only went there twice. Mm -hmm. We went during a hurricane. Terrible. We went, well, not during a hurricane. It was a Sunday <laughs> right before a hurricane hit. Orlando, and not, that was not the, not best, the best. No, it was not the best idea because it was so crowded. So crowded. This will be a little bit different. We're in Grafton, but yeah. this will be crowded. And you know, you're in a small town when you you enter a store, and my mom already knows somebody. That's a nice TV. I just want the seventy-five. Three grand. No, twenty-one nine nine. Twenty-one hundred. Twenty-one nine nine. OLED's really nice. I think a lot of you guys in my comments told me to check out Costco furniture. I might. Yeah. But Wayfair too. Wayfair. Oh, you smell the cookies? Mm, sounds good. Mm. It's making me hungry. Costco vlogs. Um, but yes, you you definitely need to check out some furniture here, Wayfair, and... Ashley? But, uh, yeah, but I mean... I'm I a restoration it... hardware kind of person. Okay, yes. But <laughs> I don't think you should get all of no, the furniture. So I don't think so either. At least not the yet. The couch was okay. At least not yet. You need to get a new comforter. From Costco? Well, no, not necessarily from Costco, but just in general. It's got a nice price, actually. It does. We're going to get a king bed, though. But king bed is, is must, must do. I don't know if I like comforters. Well, is, isn't... Well, it's, it's more for look. You don't have to actually sleep uh, with it. Costco was a bad idea. We're only here because my mom needs to get toilet paper. But we're eating a lot today. And you guys know about Costco. There's a lot of munchies to be had here. A lot of free samples. <laughs> I'm also just blown away because... Uh, the Costco in Orlando is insane on a Very Sunday. Busy. We just came here for this, right? And, and bananas. bananas. Casey, we should pick this up for a little thing that we have to be doing a little bit later. Mm. It's good practice, you know. Let's let's see your form. Let's see your form. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? These are good. Nice one, oh. Casey. These are the chocolate chip cookies. My mom told dad to get two boxes. He got three. <laughs> the problem is how we're gonna get this to fit now. We'll get it in. I'll you know? Stack it. All these cookies. Check them out. They're actually really good. These are gonna last a week. Now we can go to cops. I'm gonna have some lunch. You wanna sit in the front, Kyle? No, I'm okay. It's fine. Mom, correct me if I'm wrong but presidents, it's like we're doing things that presidents do when they come here. But I think actually Biden visited this cop's location really? in Milwaukee. Yeah, I think he I'm did. pretty darn sure hmm. when he was vice president, he came on through here and uh, got some frozen custard, got some burgers. So it's a pretty famous joint. I did yeah. not know that, that's pretty cool. Put, yeah, you know, I'm pretty right. sure that's right. Wow. I'm pretty sure. Mm. Okay. And it's always packed, super packed. So it is themed to cops, so it's gonna look like a jail once we get in there. That's cool. Oh, that's creative. Dude. Oh boy, he's in jail. It's very packed. All right, welcome to cops, everybody. Not only are their burgers amazing, it's kind of themed. It's obviously seen themed to a prison, like a jail, but their ice cream and their custard is so good. The strawberry shakes, amazing. It's just really cool themed. Very famous, this is like a must-do, and I've been trying to do it forever, but we just haven't been down here. I'm just making the exception because Casey's here. I'm looking forward to these burgers. This is a cool looking shop. We gotta keep them warm because we're bringing them to grandma and grandpa. We gotta go outside, there's something cool out here. They've got a lot of cows in the back. I don't know the this reason. so cool. Like I have no idea the reason. But next time you gotta come maybe during the state fair so you can actually see cow soup car coming. There's one black cow. And yeah, one black cow, it's, it's interesting. This place reminds me of growing up in summers because of baseball tournaments, we would always kind of come here and stop and we would usually win. We were good in middle school, terrible in high school. But this just reminds me of growing up and it's a it's kind of a Milwaukee staple in a way. So if you guys can, about the cops. And if I'm you know, excited. you know. I'm excited, I'm excited to try them. 
Cool theming. Lots of people here, so you know it's gonna be good. A lot of people. Caught my dad in line for the ice cream. He saw me go back for a shake, strawberry shake, and then he's like, I gotta get a cone. He said he didn't want a hot foot Sunday, and I guarantee that's what he's ordering right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, sir. Look at it before it goes in my stomach. <laughs> it's so good, look at that. You said you were only getting a single. No, I said two school. Oh, you did. Hurry up. <laughs> don't, miss, don't squeeze it. Go for it. Go okay. for it. I'll take Go it. for it. Okay. Okay. Turn, it's gotta taste it. Right yeah. on my nose. Hey, okay, giant. Her nose is That's actually very good. It's so good. So the fun thing about these is these always used to remind me of Disney because they actually have strawberries in it. This is how Disney used to make shakes. Isn't that incredible? And then Disney just went cheap. <laughs> we can split it. It's literally the best shakes ever. That's so good. Mm. Mm. It's amazing. I can taste the fresh strawberries in here. Yep. They're all labeled. Do you want her to take a bite in the car? Maybe? Yeah, we'll go outside where it's a yeah. little bit quieter. So can... Casey's hogging my shake. This is truly better than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. I was like, we don't need a shake. No. No, always get the shake. Mm. So we're going to let Casey try before we get to my grandma's house because of the fact that they're so good just off the grill, obviously, and we need to have the authentic taste. Have a bite. No pressure. No pressure at all. Mmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. They're huge. It's so juicy. Anyone, right? What did you rate it? Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh. I would rate it a 10 out of 10. The cheese is amazing, isn't it? Truly. Cheese makes so it good. as well. All right, grandma and grandpa's, we go. Anything else? Okay, but you, you gotta go. come here. This is incredible. Everyone needs to try this. Grandma and grandpa's house. Guys, get this. Back in the day when they built this, I don't know the year. I think it costs about $16,000. <laughs> Nuts. I'll take it. Thank you. You got to keep your arms open to, to hug to them. To hug them. Yeah. Yes, here they are. A nice landscape in here. Beautiful. Let's go say hi to Grandma and Grandpa. I wonder who built these. Uh, Hello? Hello? Hi, we got cops. Oh, oh my good. Hooray. Yay. Our favorite. Our favorite. Hey, Grandma. Our favorite. Hi. I like your haircut. Thanks. <laughs> this is Casey. Hi. We feel like we know you already. I've from, heard. From YouTube, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's nice yeah. to meet you in person. Yes, yes right, it always is. Yeah. It always Grandpa! Is. We got cops. Scooter. Hey, you gotta do it. Watch your camera. Say hi to Oh, yeah, I got a new camera. This is 4K. So you're in 4K right now. Uh, Sony. Sony. Hi, Grandpa. Good to see you. We got, we got cops for you. And this is Alexis. Can you eat your burger? Oh, there's no fat on here. Hey! Grandpa just said there's no fat on me. Hi. Hey, Grandpa, this is Casey. Not really. Nice to meet you. Yes, we went there today. I got three. Oh, I don't know. That's that's my girlfriend. We don't count. We do a good job. Great job. Great job. And we love her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super. I'm so happy for you, guys. I'm so happy for you. You got cops today. Yeah, right. Yeah. I got what? We better eat them before they get cold. Yeah, I know. We got it. We got it. Hey, I got to show you on your computer. Here is my burger. Look how big this bad boy is. I didn't know that. They are. They are big. Wow. That's the configuration they got there now. But it's nothing like it was with right. Happy Days. Bite into them. Casey, you want to cut this in half? I love these so well. They're even better fresh, though. Okay, I'll just you need to when it's warm. Yes, thank you. All right, Grandma, I got a question for you. First impressions of Casey. Terrific. Great. Oh. Great. Couldn't have picked any better. Couldn't have done any better. Excellent. What if, what if I tell you we eloped already? Fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't though, we didn't though, yeah, we didn't though, yeah, we didn't I know, though. I know, 
I know. I yeah. I believe you. Um, I'm I would, gullible, but not that gullible. Not that gullible. Not that gullible. Not that gullible. No, no, no. You don't okay. got anything here? <laughs> no, 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 no. Talking with my hands again. I gotta go like this. Oh my gosh. All right, so everybody's around the dining room, and Casey and I thought it was a fun, a funny opportunity to show Grandma Grandpa or polka dancing because they love the polka dance. So we're about to do that. And we just want to film the reactions. Oh, yeah. When we went to Pennsylvania. Don't trip each other. Oh, a number of right, Grandma, we're going to on a team. Oh, boy. Oh, they polka. Hooray. Yeah. Hooray. <laughs> Molly B on for you. Do the what? I'll show you what that is. Show us how to poke it dance. No, this is the Polish hop. Oh. This is a little different. Let's go. Ooh, Grandma. That's what the people do. Oh, yeah. They can't do it from here. Wait, so how do you do that? Just like, fun little fact, my grandparents met while they were at like a polka dance thing and the rest was history. Polka dancing, look it up, you don't know what it is. We don't do that for at all. Yeah, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Woo! Wow. Bye, Grandpa. See you, Grandma. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, we're kind of doing last second things, showing Casey or where I went to college, UWM. We just recently went to UCF and I got to see hers. And now we're just driving downtown in Milwaukee because we want to get a, some good food. We're gonna get some Ian's pizza. Yeah, we are. I've been hearing lots of good things about this place. Hopefully it's open. Hopefully it's open. I think it is. And if not, then that's we starve. But I guess we have to go back <laughs> or come back. I mean, then we starve. Ian's Pizza, right by Pfizer Center. All right, Casey, one bite. You know the drill. No, I think you need more with ranch, but it's still really good. Oh. Ian's Pizza, like, oof. Too. Oh, good. There's so much goodness on this pizza. You ever see Happy Days? Uh, I don't think so. The Bronze Fonz is here. Every time I come here, a lot of you guys tell me to come check it out. Well, here he is. I've actually never seen an episode of Happy Days, but a lot of people come here and just take a picture with the Bronze Fonz. If you guys have been following around or a series here in Wisconsin, this is the Milwaukee River, which flows through Sockville, which is where I'm from, and this is Milwaukee River. She's doing such yeah, a good job. I'm impressed. It's great. I've done that in the Bahamas. <laughs> Bronze Fawns. There you go, Casey. What does this say? Visit Milwaukee. Oh, it's just the sponsors. Your donors. Yeah, the donors who contributed to this. Cool. Finally did it. With Casey, too. I think this coming through to our left is a uh, a drinking cruise. And over here. Also reeks of weed. Sheesh. Yeah, it does. This trip went really quick. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, our flight just got delayed. So we're yeah. kind of just walking out in Milwaukee while my parents are just kind of driving around. But it's been a good trip. You enjoy it? I had such a good time. I was just saying, I feel like this was a really good first visit to Wisconsin. We did a lot. Got to eat a lot of yummy food. We did. And There's also, so much more. Yeah, I just told him I already miss Rocco. It's crazy. I know. It's crazy. And I'm definitely going to miss your parents when we leave, too. It was just such a good weekend. It was cool. We got to practice or a future wedding. Now, can you, this is so funny, guys. Check this out. We think this is so funny. We made a little skit for you guys. And if you guys have a little laugh with us, we thought it was funny. Some of you guys will say it's clickbait, but hey, there's other things in the title. This was just really funny. I mean, it's not really click, like, not clickbait really. because we did, in fact, practice. It's right? so funny. Check this out.
That was our fake wedding. <laughs> We're such dorks. Oh, like two seconds. I mean, technically speaking, that would be an elopement because nobody was there. It's true. That was just us practicing our wedding because you guys think we're gonna get married or engaged on this trip. I haven't even met Casey's dad. We, we said that in the travel video coming down, but fun fact, Casey actually wants to elope if we ever get married. Or like a destination yep. wedding. Yep. Something small, nothing over the top. I don't think a Disney wedding is in our future. I don't know. We'll see. Stay <laughs> tuned, but that was us practicing. <laughs> Surprise. All right, we're gonna be leaving here soon. Gonna go visit my grandpa, grandma, and uh, we're gonna bring them food actually, surprise them, so yay. Also guys, just got done finishing that thumbnail. You gotta give me props. We didn't even plan this at all. We just thought this would be funny. So if you got the joke, thank you, thumbs up the video. It's funny. I mean, before and after, that was pretty good. Turned out pretty good. I'd say so. Thanks for laughing with us. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, just walking around, killing some time because we got about like three hours now and we're just kinda enjoying Enjoying downtown Milwaukee. You got anything else? No. no. The bridge is going up. Not just a little bit. Yeah, I don't think it was for this boat. There's no way. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks. Love you. Love you too. We've got a slight travel issue. We might not be leaving because our plane's been delayed about an hour and a half right now. We're here two hours early. Would have been time for a flight originally, but we'll keep you guys updated because we're here and it's delayed. You know, we're just gonna kind of mess around here for a little bit. The flight finally is not delayed anymore. I think we're gonna be landing around midnight. I think this always happens and this is on Southwest. We're flying Southwest, it's the first time I've ever been on a delayed Southwest flight. I think the weather, it's coming from DC and we checked it out and the weather was pretty bad, but we were gearing towards going back to um, to my place. So we're good. We'll be back just pretty darn late. And if you guys remember when my sister, her flight was missed too. It was also on Southwest, but this has nothing to do with Southwest, just the weather. Apparently the weather is pretty bad, but we'll be back and, and ready to go, obviously. No one's here. No need to have TSA pre here, unless you're in the morning at MK. Got about an hour and a half till we board, and we're just chilling. We're vibing Casey's on the phone with her dad. And I was just sitting here editing, but there's a really cool Mitchell Gallery of Flight here. Just, it's all about the history here at MK. You know, I love Wisconsin, because we just love, we love our state a lot. I, I, I do miss it, but I also really love Florida, as you guys know. Sort of kind of a ghost town as well. Late flights in, late flights out. You're pretty much the only one here. Yeah, it's just like a little neat museum of of the history here in Milwaukee. It's pretty darn cool, honestly. It really is. Oh, this looks to be a, this isn't Milwaukee. Maybe it's just a history on on air airplanes. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, it's a mixture of both. It's pretty cool. Way to pass time, you know. These this isn't in like every airport. Oh, World War II pilot. You guys know I love my World War II history. Wisconsin hometown heroes of World War II. Here's what a World War II pilot's outfit looks like. It's crazy World War II history. It really is. It's what that generation had to go through. Imagine going to war. At what sixteen, seventeen. 18 years old. Really cool fact that I found here. If you guys are interested in World War II history, check that out. There's the, the model of the plane. North American B-25B Mitchell bomber. So Casey's never flown on Southwest before, so it's no. gonna be ish interesting. She didn't know about early bird, early bird. Well, I told her how important early bird is because what happened? She forgot to check in because we were well, with my family. I had set a reminder on my phone, but I had shut my volume off. I missed it, but we have a plan. He's going to go in first. I'm A. You're he's C. He's going to get me a seat, and he's going to take my rollerboard like the best boyfriend he But is. for not checking in, I honestly don't know if it's going to be that packed of a flight. I'll just no. go to the well, way I back. Well, I did check in, but it was probably like an hour and 20 minutes after I was supposed to, and I got group C and number two. We'll um, be fine. 
I think. So I'm in like the last group, but just like beginning number of the last group. So that'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just Since you go on early, get early it's bird. Fine. Get early bird. Or just be responsible and check in on time. It's also just really eerie to just look at this airport and just see nobody. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? How's it going? What's up, dude? Are you guys going back home now? Yeah, we're going back. Yeah, you want to say, like, you want to say to the vlog? Yeah, let's see it. What's up, man? How are you? Thanks for watching. What's yeah, your name? Yeah, of course. Darren. Darren. Yeah. Sweet. Was, you just caught me and I was vlogging, yeah. so sweet. You see how everyone just rushes on over there mm -hmm. to line up? Yes. See, I'd rather stand by you yeah. for a couple minutes. That's sweet. Then you gotta go get us some good seats. Yeah, we're going to the back just to make yeah. sure. I like sitting in the back, to be honest. I will say, I kind of like this in a way you can select your own seat because this way you can avoid like kids. If you, you see where kids are being uh, obnoxious, you can pick somewhere they're not. That's kind of a nice part. I will give it that. You make it seem like you don't like kids. You do. I do, but I'm not on planes. All right, I gotta go. Bye bye. Bye bye. On we go. All right, I picked row number 19. Hopefully, Casey. We'll be able to sit with me. We'll find out. Believe it or not, I think I had more space on Spirits, but can't beat these seats. These seats are super duper comfortable. You know how many close calls we had of like parties of two? Almost asked. I'm like, I have to leave all of our passengers have boarded the aircraft. We're good. We're good. It works. It works. That is true. That is true. It works. I could have done that. Tired. We're back in Orlando and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye, -bye.